How we doing today, YouTube? Dski from Dski Grills back with another cooking video. And today we are making up Mexican style grilled chicken on the Weber Ranch kettle. Folks, I'm so excited. Can't wait to show you this awesome cook. We'll just be using a few ingredients and this will be a two day process. So this is day one. Day one is 100% the marinade process. So let me show you the stars of the show and then we can move forward with this, okay? So we are starting off with an awesome marinade, which is Chef Marito's, okay? This says chicken marinade, and this is for this awesome, rich Mexican style flavor, okay? So what we're gonna do, we have some legs, we have wings, and we have one pack of thighs, okay? So what we're gonna do is use this marinade to coat this awesome chicken for about 12 to 14 hours. So you're talking about awesome, rich, Mexican, authentic type flavor that's gonna be infused overnight. So what we're gonna do is actually grill this chicken off, move it to the side, let it start cooking indirect, then add one piece of mesquite smoke wood to just infuse it. So what we're gonna have is a grilled, smoky final result. So you know what we'll do? I'll take it to the cutting board, I'll show you step by step how we're gonna marinate. Then tomorrow, we'll do the seasoning, to the grill we go, and before you know it, we'll be at the cutting board checking out some awesome Mexican style grilled chicken made on the Weber Ranch kettle. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay folks, so we're at the cutting board and what we're gonna do now is very easy. All we're gonna do is open up our chicken pieces, get them rinsed off and into the bag is where they're gonna go, okay? This will be our marinade bag. Now what I have is two one gallon bag Ziplocs. Uh, we may need another one, but we'll check it out and see what's going on, okay? So let's get this opened up, easy enough. And all I'm gonna do, like I said, is rinse the pieces. and into the bag it goes, all right? We'll do another one really quick. Okay, so we'll do this with all the pieces and get back together in just a second. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, so we're back. So we have two bags of chicken. There is about 12 to 13 pieces in each bag. So now it's time for the marinating process. So let's go ahead and get this going real quick. What we wanna do, is first just give this a shake because what we want is these bags pretty much covered with the marinade. I'll move them around a few times before I go to sleep tonight, but make sure that they are kind of uh, covered the whole time so they can just keep on soaking in this awesome flavor, okay? So we'll shake it first. Now I bought this off Amazon. I heard about it from a friend of mine that it really, really imparts an awesome Mexican style flavor. So I had to give it a shot. This is a 25 ounce bottle. I'm hoping it's enough for what we're trying to do today. All right, so we'll just start by pouring in bag one. So let's pour in bag two. Very good, okay. Yeah, and you can just see all the spices and everything in here. So yeah, it's definitely full of flavor. All right, let's go back in this bag and we will finish up here. Okay, so we're gonna use it all. That's fine, no problem there. All right, let's get this baby sealed up. I wanna try to make sure I push the air out. All right. Okay, and that'll do it for the first bag. All right, and let's do the same thing to the second bag. Now I'm gonna put this in a foil pan and let it sit like that overnight. Um, definitely, we have enough here. So I'm just kind of coating right now to see what it looks like. And my goodness, this is gonna be great. I can tell already. Okay, folks, so this is it. This is part one of our marinating process for our Mexican grilled chicken. Tomorrow, we will get into step two and that'll be getting the marinade out and then seasoning with the chicken seasoning, okay? So can't wait to get to step two. I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Have a good evening. Okay, folks, we are back and it is day two of our Mexican styled grilled chicken made on the Weber Ranch kettle. So check it out, folks. We're about 13 hours into this process so far. Our chicken has been marinated in that awesome Chef Marito's uh, marinade, right? All night long. And here's what we have, folks. We have chicken that is now infused with all kinds of Mexican spices. So our next step is to remove the chicken from this bag right now, add it to this tray, 
and we're going to go ahead and start the seasoning process, okay? So if you remember what I told you, we're going to use Chef Moretto's chicken seasoning. So let's get started on that really quick. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take a few pieces out, we'll put it here and start seasoning, then I'll take the rest off the frame, and then we'll go outside and check out the grill setup. So let's get going. I'm really excited to see what kind of flavor this marinade imparts in the chicken, so this is going to be a great, great time for us to figure this out together. All right, so we'll get this here and get it opened up. All right, and then I'm just going to bring my tray over here, and we're just going to remove pieces and put them on the tray. I told you yesterday that we got around 13 or 14 pieces of chicken in each bag, so this thing's going to fill up pretty quick. But you can see through and through, okay? So I'm really excited about it. I don't even know how much seasoning to use because I'm almost concerned about over seasoning the way this is looking, you know? Okay, so let's just get a few more pieces here and then I'll just show you how we're going to season. All right, so that's just a start right there. All right, folks, so we're going to open up our dry seasoning and all we want to do is just hit the top. Beautiful color. Beautiful color. We want to hit the top and we want to hit the bottom with this seasoning. It smells amazing. You can smell the cumin in here. You know it's full of that, okay? Which is a staple spice of Mexican type cuisine. So we'll pat and flip on all of these and do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, this is how we're gonna do all of our pieces and next step will be us meeting outside, checking out that grill setup. Okay folks, and we'll just pat again. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. That's how we're gonna do it with all of them. I'll see you guys outside when it's time to check out the grill setup. Okay folks, so we're outside now and we are about to cook on the largest kettle in the world. That is the Weber Ranch kettle. So what we're gonna do folks is set up our grill. We're gonna use Fogo Premium Lump Charcoal today. So not the super lump that's in the yellow bag, but the premium that's in the black bag, okay? So here we are. I've already opened up the side of the grill that I wanna fill the charcoal in, so we can do that right now. Okay, I'll spread that out a little. And we'll get a little bit more in there. Okay, that should do it. Okay, folks, so we'll get this lit and I'll use the grill gun, okay? So I'll bring the grill gun out. We'll get this fired up and the idea is to grill our pieces, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go right on top of the direct fire with all of our pieces, maybe a minute or two on each side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get that charcoal flavor just put off into that chicken. From there, we're gonna go indirect. So we have plenty of room over here to put all these chicken pieces on this side here after they get grilled, all right? At that point, we'll add one piece of mesquite wood. So we'll let that mesquite smoke just flow through that chicken until we reach 165 degrees on the white meat, 175 on the dark. All right, I'm gonna get this thing fired up. We can listen to some tunes together.
Okay, so now we have the charcoal lit, folks. All we're gonna do now is let it ash over. Then it'll be time to bring out this Mexican-style chicken to put on the grill. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, folks, we are back. As you can see, the grill is hot. This Fogo lump charcoal is showing out, okay? It is fired up and it is ready now for the Mexican-style chicken. So look at this beautiful chicken and understand that we are now at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. So here we go, folks. We're gonna go directly onto the hot coals and then we're just gonna start searing these pieces off, okay? All right, I'll put it down. We have to move quickly. And the reason we do is because we are on top of hot fire, okay? So we wanna get grill marks and move it over, okay? So here we go. The good thing about Fogo Lump Charcoal, it is perfect for searing. It doesn't take long to get what you're trying to get done and that's awesome grilled flavor and then move it to the side. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, our legs are done already. Look at that, beautiful char. Indirect we go. Same thing with our wing. And we'll continue on just like this, folks. We're just gonna move pieces over, put them right on that direct fire to get that char and get that sear mark, then to the indirect side it goes. Okay, folks, we're back and look how beautiful this chicken looks, okay? Nice yellow color from the marinade. Immediate grill marks because we only spent around 20 seconds on each side because the grill is just that hot, okay? This fogo is acting up. Now what we're gonna do is introduce smoke. So this is grilled, smoked Mexican chicken, right? So I told you we're gonna use mesquite. We have some mesquite chunks here. I don't want but a few. That's all I want is a couple of chunks, just like that. Right, because all I want is a small hint of smoke. Really, we're going after the grilled taste here, okay? So there we are here. So we're gonna get this baby opened up, drop in our wood. Then it's time to shut down the grill and let it cook internally. All right, so that's where we're at, folks. All kind of excited about this cook. I'll see you guys in about maybe 30 minutes. We can check in and see how it's going along, but it shouldn't take any more than about an hour and a half, maybe. We definitely wanna make sure everything is cooked thoroughly, okay? Thanks for hanging in there with me. Awesome cook, it is going well. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. We are only around 30 minutes into the indirect portion of this cook. I want you to see how the chicken is coming along. I'm thinking with that mesquite wood, it's starting to brown up real nicely. We should have a beautiful color that's starting to happen. Now it's gonna all be about getting those internal temps. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just like I thought. Okay, so our Fogo Lump Charcoal is doing its thing over here. We have at least an hour, hour and a half of cook time left with the charcoal we have here. But you can see the browning that we have. That's from that mesquite wood. That's from those awesome hot temps that's coming from this charcoal, all right? I'm gonna shut it back down, but we will meet next time at the cutting board and show you the final product of this awesome Mexican smoked and grilled chicken made on the Weber Ranch kettle. Very excited about it. I'll get back with you guys at the cutting board. Okay, folks, we are back, and I am so excited to show you the final product of our Mexican-style grilled chicken made on the Weber Ranch kettle. Folks, let's talk about what we did before we unveil this goodness. We started off, folks, yesterday. We used the Chef Moretto's marinade, and we marinated around 25 pieces of chicken for 13 hours in the refrigerator, okay? We got up today. 13 hours later, and what did we do? We used Chef Moretto's again, the chicken seasoning. And all we did, folks, is we pulled our chicken out of that marinade and hit it with that dry rub, okay? We hit it on the top and the bottom side of each piece of chicken. After that, folks, we went outside and fired up that Weber Ranch kettle. We used premium Fogo Lump Charcoal, got that baby up to temperature, and we got that baby to ash over, and you know what happened next, folks. We started grilling our chicken about a minute, maybe less on each side just to get those grill marks. Then we went indirect. After we went indirect, we hit that baby with mesquite chunks, two mesquite chunks to add grilled 
and smoke flavor to this awesome Mexican style chicken. Now what I didn't share with you is that I cut three limes in half and I squeezed that halfway through the cook on top of the chicken to impart even more Mexican flavor to this awesome chicken. It's time now to unveil this goodness. Let's see what we got. I am excited. Oh, look at this chicken. Look at this chicken. Goodness gracious. Been sitting on the cutting board now for around 15 minutes, folks. And let me show you what we have. What we have is goodness, okay? We have flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. So let's go ahead and do a taste test. We have legs, we have thighs, we have wings. I don't even know how to choose. Everything looks so delicious. I'll grab this leg right now and give this thing a test. Let's see what we got. Mm. Okay. Let me tell you now, Chef Moretto's is the way to go. Marinate your chicken overnight with Chef Moretto's. Come back with your favorite seasoning and go ahead and let people sit back and say, what the heck is going on? This is the best chicken I have ever had. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. One turnaround, maybe two. This is chicken done right. Catch you guys on the next one.